And there's some skin filters going on. I'm calling it as I see it. Do you have skin insecurity issues or body image issues? And if the answer is yes, did you have a Barbie growing up? Barbie is extraordinarily influential. Even on my life as a 90s kid, I have stories about ripping the legs and arms off of my Barbies and putting them in an ice machine. We will talk about that later. But Barbie was influential for many children, especially for young girls. And often that impact was not always a good one. Now, the legacy of Barbie starts in 1959 when the doll was created, but over time, there has been quite a bit of controversy. Everything from beautiful looks and new collections to realizing that body's body is not even realistic to the point that if Barbie's body measurements were real, she would have to walk on all four legs to even get around. Another issue that people don't want to talk about is for the majority of Barbie's life, she only existed in one color. And hello, <laughs> but real women, real skin, and real bodies come in all sorts of colors, shapes, and textures. Now, something interesting happened at the Barbie company five to 10 years ago. The owner of Barbie is a company called Mattel, and they were actually listening to how customers were feeling about how Barbie was impacting young girls' self-esteem negatively, how Barbie's plastic skin and perfect life maybe wasn't indicative of reality. And not only has the parent company made Barbies that are different skin tones and different body shapes, but they've also made Barbie a doctor and an astronaut and given her different careers. Now, with all of that being said, there is a brand new movie called The Barbie Trailer 2 on Warner Brothers. Great title, guys, great title. Call me and I'll help you with your titles, okay? Anyways, Warner Brothers Pictures dropped The Barbie Trailer and today, we are going to see if Barbie is staying in the lane of plastic is perfect, bodies need to look a certain way, and this is what you should be comparing yourself to, versus is there going to be diversity, inclusion? Is Barbie gonna get a f***ing pimple? Or are we going to see some of the changes that people have been requesting from Barbie as a company? And as a medical esthetician who has struggled with my skin and acne my entire life, I do remember looking at perfectly photoshopped women, very Barbie reminiscent, that I did did compare myself to both my body, which I didn't realize until later, as well as my skin, specifically the texture, the tone, the blemish freeness of it. So let's press play, let's react, and let's see if life in plastic is really that fantastic or if Barbie is giving us a reality check. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Ken. All of a sudden, first thing I see is like, this is very plastic. It looks like we entered a world of cotton candy, you know, like a Paris Hilton dog house. And even her leg looks plastic. I don't know about you, but my leg has ingrown hairs. I'm not expecting Barbie dolls with ingrown hairs yet, but I wouldn't complain if I saw them. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Ugh. Hi, Ken. I can. We are seeing, I don't know if it's Barbie or Barbie's friends, but I'm seeing curly hair. I'm seeing different skin tones and skin colors. Now I'm not seeing any acne or blemishes, but at least we are adding a little bit of reality into the diversity that is being shown here. And a lot of people might counter argue and say, listen, Barbie is a doll that's meant to be perfect. She's wonderful that way. Of course it's not real. Why would we think it's real? But the truth is that even if this is a made up character that's meant to be perfect, it still has real world implications for young women like myself, maybe you and others. I would almost compare it to Victoria's Secret. This is actually reminding me of like a less sexualized version of Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret always had, you know, the wings, the lingerie, the pink, you know, the perfect look, even my hair. Look at how I've been influenced. I have naturally curly hair. I smooth it out and I do this Victoria's Secret blowout thing because when I was growing up, that was the epitome of beauty that I saw on Victoria's Secret runways or America's Next Top Model, which I was rejected from, which is a long story. And also I wasn't allowed to watch Victoria's Secret runway shows, but you know, I, I snuck around and I tried to watch them. But even with Victoria's Secret, they had a huge rebranding. They now have people of different genders, different body shapes and sizes. And I feel like their rebranding is sucking. It's what we wanted from the beginning, but now that it's coming from Victoria's Secret, it feels like what's called performance activism, where it's like, does this company really care about this? Or are they just trying to make money off of us? Because Victoria's Secret was always sold as a fantasy, where the old owner literally said, no one wants to see trans models or plus size women on the 
runway, which is totally not true. Now, it doesn't seem like Barbie is being as hypersexualized as Victoria's Secret models, at least not in these first 27 seconds, but it does make me wonder, is Barbie really interested in changing? Is Mattel, the company, really interested in changing? Or is this just performance activism? They're giving us what they think we want to see, but doing it in a very inauthentic way. I don't know, all I know is that Ken has washboard abs, and I'm sorry, I have never seen anybody with abdominals or pectoralis muscles that actually look like that, and um, there's some skin filters going on. I'm calling it as I see it. I'm calling it as I see it. Is her car driving her? Does Barbie have a Tesla? Are we now influencing children to crash their cars? No, I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. I thought I might stay over tonight. Why? Because we're girlfriend boyfriend. To do what? I'm actually not sure. looks fun. As they said, this is reminding me of like 50s beach boardwalk meets Paris Hilton plus non-sexualized Victoria's Secret. I love that I am seeing different skin tones and skin colors, but I'm not seeing a lot of bodies of different shapes. Was it just me or was that sexual? I don't pick up on these kind of things. I don't, it doesn't register in my little brain. But who is this movie for? Is this for adults? Is this family friendly? They're not telling us a lot in this trailer, but it's like, is this going to be a lesson on what is and isn't appropriate and consent? Don't force someone to drink the tea if they don't want to drink the tea? Or is Barbie becoming more reminiscent of Victoria's Secret before their rebrand in like Barbie 5.0? I don't know. Okay. I'm coming with you. Did you bring your rollerblades? I literally go nowhere without them. Oh, looks like this beach was a little too much beach for you, Ken. If I wasn't severely injured, I would beat you off right now, Ken. I'll beach off with you any day, Ken. Anyone who wants to beach him off has to beach me off first. I will beach both of you off at the same time. Beach both of us off? Beach. Nobody's gonna beach anyone off. Are they gonna fight? What was interesting is if we can do a little rewind, you see where it says real world? Are they actually going to address some of the controversy that Barbie has had? I'm not seeing a ton of change here. I obviously don't watch a ton of movies and I don't know what's going to happen because obviously I have not watched the entire movie yet. If you want to do that on a Discord or Patreon live stream, let you know. But this is definitely giving us the Barbie aesthetic that we usually think of. And I would like to see Barbie get a mother pimple. I would like to see Barbie have some friends that maybe aren't a size zero. And I do wonder if the full movie is going to address some of the issues that Barbie in her former years has caused in society. Again, there are literally women who have had 43, 45 different plastic surgeries to look like Barbie. As much as we know this is fake or not real, it doesn't stop us from comparing ourselves to it. And I think of social media filters and skin filters on Instagram or TikTok in the same way. Just because we know it's there doesn't mean that it's not impacting us. And when it comes to young girls, there have been multiple studies showing that young girls compare themselves to Barbies. Literally, researchers took a group of young girls aged four to six and let them play with different dolls. Some were Barbies, some were in swimsuits, some were dolls that had more normal human proportions. And those that played with the less dressed specific body type dolls had more concerns about their bodies or were seen doing more body checks where they were looking at themselves in the mirror feeling dissatisfied. And how horrible is that to think that as young children, you or I, like we were just playing, our parents didn't know better, our teachers didn't know better, we were just trying to have fun and we didn't realize that, hey, I'm comparing my leg to this Barbie one that constantly has like a pointed toe and is perfectly smooth and is anatomically not correct and would force this woman to walk on all fours if she was actually a true human being. I mean, I guess as humans, we are kind of beans. You know, sometimes I just feel like a little edamame just in my little pea pod anyways. Now, I don't see this in the trailer. Actually, the trailer has told me nothing about the movie. I don't know what the plot line is. I think that maybe these two guys are going to fight. I love that at least there are people of other colors, although it's interesting to see that the main characters are still Caucasian, or it looked like there was one scene for a split second of a business person. Why was the business person shown as a Caucasian male who's in his 50s? I know that is very stereotypical, but can we break the glass ceilings, ladies? I think in real life, Barbie might be 
trying to do better, but I'm not seeing that reflected in this trailer, at least not yet. For example, Barbie literally launched new dolls with petite, tall, and curvy body sizes. They launched different skin tones, different hair textures. This is wonderful. And I wonder if I played with these Barbies growing up, would I have a better outlook on my self-esteem? And with full transparency, you know, my parents immigrated. <laughs> like I didn't have money growing up. So I only got to play with hand-me-down Barbies. And the Barbies that I played with were probably from like the 60s or 70s, maybe 80s. So they were like Pamela Anderson, blonde, very unnatural proportions that I grew up having access to. And I do remember they were so old and falling apart that their arms and legs would pop off. And then I would purposely pull off their arms and legs because I wanted to see how it worked on the inside. No wonder I love medicine and medical aesthetics. I wanted to see what was inside of them. I wanted to see what would happen if I froze them. So I would put them in the ice machine and then my mom would go to get like a soda and get some ice in her cup. And she'd, you know, put the soda to the ice machine and it would pop out some ice cubes and then just a leg, an arm, a torso with no limbs. I'm surprised I'm not a little more crazy than I already am. But um, it wasn't anything morbid or macabre. I just, that was my experience with Barbies. And I do wonder if I didn't amputate them or cut off their hair, if I would have been more impacted by Barbie as a young girl. I definitely kind of see Barbie and Victoria's Secret kind of in the same place. And I don't know. When I look at this movie trailer, I want to see if Barbie is going to practice what she preaches. There is plastic skin here. If Barbie gets a pimple, I will eat my words. I will apologize. <laughs> I will do a, a 180 and revert. But you know, the plastic skin, even seeing it on a screen, it makes me think about the pimple that I had on my chin this morning. It makes me think about the little whiskers that are growing out of my face and the dark under eye circles that are popping up because I didn't get enough sleep. And I think that in media, if we can see ourselves represented, if we can see even fantasy characters making positive decisions or having positive conversations around consent and about what is and isn't okay in relationships or not in relationships, I think that could be an amazing learning lesson. I don't know if that's going to happen here. I also don't know what this movie is about because they literally went to a beach and then they pulled out some rollerblades and now they're driving into the real world on a slurpy slide. So let me know if you'd like to watch the entire movie with me together and let me know if Barbie has impacted your body image or your beauty routine. Did you ever compare yourself to a non-existent doll or a non-existent image? Because even though we know it's not real and we shouldn't, it doesn't stop us from doing so. And as a reminder, I think that's why it's important to balance out plastic skin with real skin, with dolls and things in the make-believe world with reality. We can have a healthy set of both so that as adults and growing, learning people, we can learn to discern. We can learn to understand and respect ourselves more while still respecting art and nostalgia and creativity in the wonderful way without allowing it to impact how we look at ourselves in the mirror or how we look at others around us. Let me know what you spink. Always stay hydrated. Reapply that SPF, which again, they're on the beach. Barbie, you better f use sunscreen. Does Barbie have a skincare routine? Can somebody please send me Barbie skincare routine? Because I would love to react to it. And always remember to be beautiful both inside and out. I love you. I can't wait to hear your thoughts and see you in this next video. <sighs> love you guys. Bye.